And a former governor of River State, Rufus Adad George, is calling on all former governors to close ranks and prevent political turmoil in the state. He's also calling on all warring factions in the House of Assembly to be calm. Adad George expressed a deep worry over what he called the show of impunity and lawlessness in the state. Let's cross over to Port Harcourt and speak to Rufus Adad George. Uh, good to see you. Uh, uh, Mr. Adair George, the, the crisis brewing first should worry you, uh, being uh, an elder statesman who's uh, done quite enough of a lot for the people of your state in your capacity uh, as a former governor of the state and even when you served as an accountant uh, uh, to uh, the Melford Okilo government. Paint for us a picture of what the elders uh, like yourself are first trying to do to close ranks and bring about the much talked about peace in River State. Thank you for having me. Um, we have initiated moves, taking steps to appeal to uh, junior colleagues, both the incumbent governor and the immediate past governor, that for the interest of peace and unity in the state, they should please come together, listen to the advices, the appeals, especially the appeals made earlier by Mr. President, and the appeal of so many individuals so many personalities from River State appealing to them to be calm and give peace a chance. We've spoken to most of them. We've appealed, we contacted to them, made contact and appealed. And we hope that they will be kind enough to listen to our advices and to shield their thoughts and come to the table. There is nothing we cannot solve in this state. We made contacts, although some of our contacts have, have not been responded to. So far, we are optimistic that we will succeed. Is your optimism, because uh, many still can't forget the crisis uh, that rocked your state in 2002, uh, which you personally suffered uh, from, two of your houses were touched. So uh, people should understand as an elder when you speak to them about the need uh, for peace in River State. Have you reached out to any of the uh, leading parties? Now, in this case, Yesum Wike and uh, Governor uh, Sim Fubara. Well, we have uh, contacted them directly. We made contacts with them individually and collectively. We believe that the experience we had years ago should be enough to tell them or teach them the need to attain peace, to achieve peace, to maintain peace in the state. And that is why, because of our experience, we are calling on all our colleagues that we should forget any, every incident that happened in the past, come together and advise our incumbent governor and the immediate past governor, especially. He is the senior one, he's supposed to show example is supposed to be more tolerant and more accommodating. So we are using that, the experiences, especially myself, the experience I had to try and preach and summarize peace. The optimism. Yeah. Therefore. Sorry to cut you there. Go ahead. We are. Very optimistic, we call on all well-wishers 
We contacted them and we are very, very optimistic that they will hearken to our advice. They will listen to us and they will come to the round to the table. And I'm ha pleased that my former colleagues, my former, former governors will hearken to our call and will come round to speak to them. Afterwards, some of them inherited our supporters and have carried on with that support. We've heard of structures and new structures. These things are continuous. They are progressive. They are work in progress. They transcend from one administration to the other. And if people are honest, they, those who believe in the uh, structures will follow to the line and then maintain peace, to the line of their superiors of those whom they believe in and walk to the peace and progress of the nation, of the state, especially the river state. Because peace and progress in river state will translate to peace and progress in the nation. If there is disturbance here in the state, I believe it's going to affect the nation. And we don't want any disrupting, disruption in the activities and of the activities in the nation. So it behaves all of us to work for peace and progress in the nation. Mr. Ada George, is there any uh, former governor you have in mind specifically? Perhaps uh, you want to let us know uh, those that you have spoken to who are on the same page with you. Because it would seem as if uh, in the history of River State, apart from yourself and uh, your deputy then, uh, Peter Audley, uh, almost everyone who's taken over from Rivers uh, is uh, on, uh, you know, on a different path with those who succeeded them. So what are you doing with any of those you're speaking to uh, to ensure that truly this uh, peace you spoke of uh, is brought back? Well, we have all the former governors, no one special one we have in mind, but we have all of them in mind. And I believe all of them collectively will agree and work towards peace in this state. If they, love, they are children of peace and they would like to follow us to maintain peace in the state. We are going to talk to all of them. They're all important. They're all going to willing and I believe collectively we will achieve it. We are speaking to all of them. We will continue to speak to all of them and will appeal. If any of them feels for one reason or the other not interested, we will let the people of River State know. But meanwhile, we are going to contact and continue to appeal to all of them to accompany us to achieve this peace in this state which we very much desire. Before we let you go, if we can do this uh, in less than uh, 40 seconds, uh, have you also tried as an elder statesman, not just from River State, but from Southern Nigeria, try to reach the president on uh, this issue? The president has been reached before the president was reached and you are all aware that he very kindly interceded and, and appealed to the two gentlemen to try and maintain peace. Immediately that was done, I think, early October, late October, October 30th, breaking early November. There was a measure of peace attained, and it dragged on and lasted for some time, and we, are going, we thought that would be endurable, that would be durable, that will endure. But unfortunately, because of statements, some remarks and statements made by the personnel, they, it went sour. And I thought that was going to be enduring and it could have helped as a basis. We still appeal to Mr. President, in his goodness, he should kindly try try to get the parties concerned to come to a round table.
Other statesman Rufus Adad George, former governor of River State between January 1992 until 1993 November uh, during the third Nigerian Republic. We would like to thank you for your time for speaking with us here on Newsnight.